Well, hearing personal stories like that is a great way for us as a nation to understand the effects and the dangers of COVID. That's what I was told in a conversation with Dr. Matthew Seeger. He's one of the few people who literally wrote the crisis communication plan our CDC is supposed to use when they talk to us about a pandemic. There were decades of work that went into preparing for a pandemic. 30 years. That's how long Dr. Matthew Seeger has been talking about how we should be talked to as a nation in a crisis. I've worked my entire career in the field of disasters and crises. I've uh, worked with the Centers for Disease Control and the World Health Organization. I helped the CDC develop some of their crisis communication plans. True story. He was one of a group of experts who wrote the CDC's 450 page manual for how U.S. leaders should communicate with us during a crisis. Problem this time around was pretty much every public health official in the country was trained in crisis and emergency risk communication using the CDC materials. Uh, sadly, we did not follow that protocol uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic. And while we can argue about why that was, we cannot change what was. The missed chance of having a consistent and clear message to all Americans is missed, but we're still in crisis. So Dr. Seeger says it's time to communicate still and aim to be consistent. The principal way in which we manage COVID-19 is through human behavior. That requires that we inform and we persuade people uh, using communication, using strategic messaging to, to get them to change their behavior. Right now, he says, is more important than ever, as whatever officials said in their plea to get folks to stay home for Thanksgiving didn't work for millions of Americans. They traveled. And with another major holiday approaching quickly, Dr. Seeger says we got to try again, but leave shaming and yelling at people at the door. It actually may persuade people to continue those uh, problematic behaviors because they may uh, feel that they're being attacked and they, they really need to double down on their particular behaviors because then it becomes us versus them. So what should leaders do? Dr. Seeger says tell the human story of COVID and tell all of those stories. Personalize this to say these are your friends, this is your family, these are your children, these are your brothers, these are your sisters. It was much harder to demonize individuals when we recognize that these people are so uh, so much a part of our lives. I also think it's important that we tell the story of the individual who is skeptical and try to allow them a space to express themselves rather than demonizing that particular attitude. Think of it like your social media feed when it comes to ads. The ones that work are the ones that target your lived experience. So far with mixed messages, confusing messages, misinformation and mandates, it's left too much room for misunderstanding. So has, in his opinion, only one message for everyone. One of the challenges with some of our messaging has been one size fits all. We tell people to wear masks and stay away from others. Well, if I live in a multi-generational household or if I have to go to work, uh, it's, it's much more difficult for me to comply with some of those recommendations. So we need to be much more sensitive and nuanced in what we're saying to people and how we're saying that to people.